So, what's it gonna be? Ooh, Wolfie. We pay tax, support Tomorrow the temple guard, to and still they let him be is back. Why is it that usury pays lower and lower returns? Falling returns are not my concern. I shall pretend ah, to not to hear <laughs> my eye. I wonder how much she's paid for contorting so awkwardly. More than we pay our staff, that's... Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's the freeze. Time for the change of scenery. White Wolf, welcome to the Passive Flora. Oh, no sign of recognition in your eyes. Greetings. Don't fret. I'm sure I look quite different from when we last saw each other. Uh, which was? Oh, eons ago. You and Master Dandelion appeared, two halflings in tow. What a smash they were, the little chaps. We recount that night to this day. Yeah, sorry, but I'm here to... Speak softly. I know very well why you're here. They await. This way, please. This way, upstairs. Which of you in the evening before you come tired? Must be right on milk, but blood from a sorcerer's scalp. Geralt, you're here. Good. Might have chosen a more secluded spot to plot an assassination. It's on everyone's mind. Many would like to do it so there's nothing to fear. Besides, this venue's got a tradition in this domain. Might even consider it fabled. Folke planned her revolt here. By extension, King Vrydank's murder too. Comparing yourself to Folke? For as I can recall, no one in Redania's annals has a bloodier reputation. Her rebellion changed the course of history. That's what we have in common. In terms of blood, we aim only to shed Radovitz. I'm pleased you're willing to play a part. Must admit, I wasn't certain you'd show. your invitation decided to come that's simple let's get down to business i believe you know my associate roach you here retired intelligence operatives we have a club defended a king once ready to assassinate another now not proud of it yet i considered all the options and found none better Radovid's proven many times he only ever forwards his own interests. When Kedwin asked for help, he invaded. When I begged him to support Vizima's defense, he showed me the door. The war nears its end. We've come to a decisive phase. We must act quickly. I've no illusions. Only a dead Radovid means a free Temeria. How's that work? Seems to me Radovid is Temeria's ally. Only as long as my guerrillas do what pleases him, support his troops. Once he wins the war, he won't acknowledge the previous borders, nor wish to restore them. He dreams of a northern empire. As long as he lives, Temeria will never be free. But we didn't bring you here to bore you with politics. Radovid's a threat to Triss and Yennefer. Remember that. That ought to interest you most. What do you want from me? One of our co-conspirators ventured out to meet an informer. He's not returned, yet the plan's success hinges on what he's learned. We've got to find him. And you're the best tracker around. Tracker, huh? Really? Anything else you can tell me? Where this associate was last seen, for instance? 
is travelling as a journeyman, itinerant cobbler, that's his cover. He was first to venture across the Pontar, most probably did so via the Redanian checkpoint, with a man there who should know more, calls himself Gregor. Let a Redanian soldier in on your plan to murder Redanian's king? Ah, <sighs> you see, there are even some Redanians who cannot abide Radovid's policies. And when simple soldiers notice something's not quite right, well, then it's time to act. Fine, I'll talk to Gregor. Thank you. And try not to draw too much attention. If you can, remember, the future hinges on the success of this mission. The future of Temeria. The future of the North. I know. I'll try not to fuck it up. See ya. We're counting on you, Geralt. Anyone see you come in? No one apart from Madame Serenity and your lackey. Off the street, I mean. Oh, well, she no drinks one. in the evening before no, she it's returns. Be better with you. No, I'm not nervous. But blood Just cause. From a sorcerer's scalp. You ought to a sorcerer's well. blood, of I know. course. And I am. Unbelievable. I'm out about the streets for a time to lose any tales. I've worked in intelligence as long as you have. I need no lessons in spycraft. Through. Why, they had everything there. Bards the are in silk. I highly recommend you visit. Gales from all round town, a family of midgets, and even a striped horse from lands across the sea. some sort. last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. 
Back in Mahakam, we'd send sow buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Eternal bar, keep me safe. Wanna bite me, Wolf? Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Mages. They're non human the spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man. Expecting someone. Let's take a walk. Nice job decorating your guard post. By orders of our gracious and merciful ruler, the good king. What was their crime? One on the right, a Pella from a village nearby, gave some bloke the wrong advice. Bloke's mates informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Just humans at each other's throats. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. 
Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk hung for such offences? Seem to have lost all respect for the king. Why serve him? What am I to do? I was born a Redanian. I won't desert. Besides, I enlisted when Vizimir was still on the throne. Now that was a good king, wise and just. Radovid's something else. He's got war on the brain. And I don't want Redania to look anything like that. Let's talk. Must know why I'm here. Take it, it's about our cobbler friend. Yeah, he came through here on his way out. Didn't come back, though. Patrol went out yesterday, reported an abandoned cart a ways off the road, aimed to go out there, see if it's his. Couldn't get away. Thanks. Good enough to start with. Farewell. Hold on. You got a pass? Won't get back through without one. Yeah, I got one. All right. Good luck. Thanks. See ya. something. Signs of a scuffle. Somebody got knocked out, dragged off. Wonder where its wearer is. What's he doing here? Greetings. Away go with you go. You did pick me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up here. Here you did grow. Like the mushroom. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Mm. Mm. Speak no rogue. Or oh, anger gets Og and Pog. Og and Pog? Those your friends? Findering of great Og Pog. Human finder on big suited cart. Shoes is big like so. Mm -hmm. What did they do to this human? Ogpog man's 
cover to take. They're over. Do you eat them? Nah, no. Body man's, stringy man's, blah. Or can make man's suited make. Frog, pog and rog suited make. You even need shoes? Shoes is on whom is it? Shoes is once og, pog, and long. Big lords trollers be. Like whom is it? So long. Troll cave must be nearby. This bugger's an old friend of mine. Bugger friend of dog! A wheeze in soup throw! I'd make for an awfully veiny morsel. Right, true that. Just look at the plowed bastard. Naught but skin and bones. Well, gentle trolls, our time I traveled on. You, uh, practice what I taught you. Give you a fucking exam next time I come through. Tell her no go. Tell her shit. Sit us down. Tell her suck cock shoes is big. I can see you've made friends. But Taller needs to come with me. Blood nowhere Taller go. Taller shoes is big. But I need him. Talash here stay. You shoes is got. Og shoes is got not. Rug got not. Pug got not. Tala shoes is make. Tala go. Now let's all stay calm. Taller will be back. He just needs to come with me. We'll uh, get some leather for your shoes. <laughs> Listen to Geralt. He's telling the plowing truth. <laughs> Look at your feet. They're fucking mammoth. Need a damn bale of leather to make shoes for them. Understand? Me and Geralt will get some cocksucking leather. Then I'll come back and make your blasted shoes for you. Shoes is pog for? And rug for? Two pairs for each of you now, pricks. Hmm. I'll go. But back come must. Knew you buggers were good mates. Sit tight. Be back in a bit. What do we think? We have a wanted. Even told him I'd be chill. Ah, 
sights a bit, but still taut as rotten rhubarb. Just happened to be passing through? Or did someone send you to find me? Roach and Dijkstra. Ah, mean they've not forgotten me. That's nice. Though I am grateful you came to get me, Carol. Must have a lot on your mind. All those monsters to kill. Heard you three are planning to do some killing of your own. Huh? They tell you? Clowns. Kinda. Didn't offer any details, though. Maybe you'd be willing. Gesture of gratitude? Sorry, mate. If they were mum, I've got to be mum. Be that way. How do you even wind up out here? Nilfgaard occupied land now. You saying the Black Ones have no use for cobblers? Probably brought their own. Brought fuck all as I see it. Amateurs in uniform. And you'll not find a better cobbler than Tala anywhere in the north. Yeah, right. You doubt me? You're a spy. And you're working with Roach and Dijkstra now. Doubt you went out there to fix Nilfgaardian boots. Ah, I see you've thought about this. I admit it. Cobbler acts my cover. Who takes an interest in cobblers? No one. You sit there, doing your work, hammering on that soul. And blokes beside you talk. Bollocks, mostly. But sometimes, they say something interesting. Mike? That's all I'm willing to say. Thanks again, Geralt. I'll take it from here. And I'll be sure to tell Roach and Dijkstra how you buggered Og and his mates sideways. As I see it, they'll be so impressed they'll shit themselves. So what'll you do now? What do you mean? Head back to Novigrad. Dijkstra, Roach and I have got a master plan to set in motion. I'll ask again. Details. Forgive me, mate, I plow in calm. See, were it just up to me, I'd spill it loud and proud. You're trustworthy like no one else I know. But I'm not on my own. So, blooming unilateral decisions are out of the question. Trap stays shut, I'm afraid. Right, gotcha. Tell me, you were a fence in Vizima. How'd you become a cobbler? Pick the least suspicious profession. The fence thing, shite cover. Pissed too many folk off. I didn't need the attention. It's all about being an innkeep. You meet a lot of folk, you know, tossers mostly, but willing to talk about all sorts of things. Problem is, you're tied down like a mutt on a chain. One in the same yard all the time. Whereas a cobbler travels everywhere. Better believe it. <laughs> Even cobble together this fancy rolling stall. Lovely. Bloody bullseye. I've made a small fortune out of it since the war started. Those pricks in uniform are always marching. Know what happens when their cocksucking boots disintegrate? Their feet bleed, blister up. Not a soldier out there wouldn't sell his mother for a comfy pair of combat boots. So long, Taller, and good luck. Oh, I can bloody use it. Radovid's won crafty ore with a clap. But we'll figure a way around that twat. Soon the old bloody North will be blathering about how he got fucked. Careful it's not also blathering about three assassins, drawn and quartered. <laughs> Fear not, Geralt. We know what we're doing. Farewell.
hear these tariffs. Passes King of Sensor, not me. You so well. Well. I advise you well. Steer far afield of spit of our blood. This is a sound of method for exercise, witches. Sir! Boy, we're up our noses in frights and horrors. Some of them is mad. And hungry. Open up. You playing it? My bestie.
always a state of mind. Oh, Understand? Hey there, handsome. Temple guard let even you into the oh. city. <clears throat> My dad doesn't like hills very much. No! Alert! Alert! People! Alert! <laughs> Locked. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrid card. Greetings. Time to shine. Get him! Come on! They were looking for something to bring foil Tiana from the square tail deck. How much this card's worth? For something. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Zed had an ornery cat, but there's a hidden compartment under there. Must be Zed. Zed sold cards too. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. taken the city excellent question I believe I can clear the mystery up for you war requires resources wherewithal Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold all that makes it a tasty morsel tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard I understand the city's walls are high its arsenals are full of weapons 
Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city is sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Showed here. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. One cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Sides, I'm certain you snuffed his killers out on the spot, so why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well... Good luck to you, Geralt. Leave me alone. Got my eye on you, white one. Are here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Haven't been to the Sturgeon yet. Fine, fine. Ravi's not going anywhere. Let's clean out Caesar Bilzin first. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the cab there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. 
Said Caesar'd never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vico Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivi. She's our Belzen. Remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta? The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does say uh, Geralt fish? Not really. Mainly hunt. Good, that. One lion angler at the table's enough. Come on in. So what, Fitzanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme-flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this time... Get off! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Recent early isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some blowing grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike hands us either. Don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what are you and your pals? She's up at Care Morehead. Excuse me for a minute. Ha ha ha! Humans! Can they hold their Mahakaman spirit if their life depended on it? Go on! And if you need help holding your hair back, give us a holler! <laughs> so, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic.
Where's Fringilla? Vatier de Rideau's dagger. A set of Aranahid's necklace. Wonder if it's the real thing. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Sultan, time we were on our way. Uh, I suppose so. It's grown late. Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the boots, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him, and you two get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, up to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Have the horse, son! Seems to me I've heard. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. Natalis card. Only one missing now. High time we saw Ravi. Go. I should contact the buyer. Agree on a place to make the transaction. See you, Geralt. Any means, Master? Surrender on orthodox books. Grimoires and tracts blaspheming the... written mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh, Oh, you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? <laughs> See? Rav is on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. 
Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? I got no use for Ravi. This witch is no fun. So pale, girl. Ah, here crawls a witcher. Look, the corpse like. No loitering round here. Sultan, get out. Got the card, Zoltan. Ha! Seems we'll make it before the King of Beggars Buggers can get me. Come on. I arranged to meet the buyer at an old brewery. He'll be delighted to see we've got all the cards. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> you know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. The fire will cleanse them all. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beer. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Rumble time. What? Can't understand a word. Is that a threat to them cause? Who? No! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop.
surviving drowners? <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah. You can go. If you're able. Ha! What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Rather have the coin. It's yours. I'll still pay the King of Beggars on time. Won't that cocksucker be surprised? Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. <laughs> <laughs>